Radiology and radiography services have become the cornerstones of modern healthcare in Uganda, allowing for precise diagnosis and treatment of a wide range of medical conditions. Major impact has been on um, on maternal health uh, through obstetrical ultrasound, because now almost every mother gets a scan. Most mothers, I I believe, get an ultrasound scan, maybe once during their pregnancy. And that means that um, um, things which could be a threat to the baby and to the mother are detected early, uh, early detection of tuberculosis using x-rays. Um, of course, you remember in, also in the, in, in the COVID epidemic, uh, CT scan were, was also used and x-ray to see which patients were most at risk. Uh, so in improving health in general, um, ultrasound and x-ray have been useful. Now, as far as road traffic accidents are concerned, there's lots of deaths from road traffic accidents because of bleeding in the brain, and also lots of deaths from stroke. Uh, I'll give an example if, if somebody had an accident. Those days uh, would just have an x-ray of the head. So these are CT images of the head. But uh, I think prior to 1994, we would just use x-rays. And x-rays show very minimal changes. They mainly look at the, at the bones, so you could maybe see a fracture. But then you would not be able to see the soft tissues, the, the brain itself. And uh, there could be changes in the brain that could have happened when the patient had that accident. But here, because we can do these cross-sectional images, and they show us the bone, then they show us the brain, the different parts of the brain. So you can really see if there's, for example, there's uh, blood that has uh, gone into the brain, you can be able to identify that well and uh, give a comprehensive report of what is happening. Because you have soft copy images, now what will happen? It is very easy to consult from one colleague to another. Access to radiology services has been a challenge in remote areas, but significant strides are being made to extend these crucial services to underserved communities. We have put a hub at Mulago National Referral Hospital, which is supporting the regional referral hospital. Because as we stand now, not all regional referral hospitals have uh, radiologists and we believe that very soon when they recruit these are young radiologists and we do not want them to be isolated professionally when they are young in the in the profession because they need to work with their seniors and with each other consult each other so that they are comfortable and that will improve on retaining them in their in those stations in the midst of these challenges the Association of Radiologists and Radiographers celebrates its 30th anniversary. The history of the profession dates as far back as 1959. The training program was a, a difficult one. Uh, we had teachers who were willing to teach us and they did a good job. But sometimes the facilities uh, to use to give us practical uh, skills we are limited. Uh, for example, we could, uh, we could lack basic things like X-ray films, working X-ray machines. We only had ordinary X-ray machines. And we didn't have ultrasound. Ultrasound actually was adopted in Mrago, I think, in 89, when we got a donation of a small ultrasound machine. We got CT coming in. We got our first city, which was a six slice city. Then we went on to get uh, a better machine, a 60, 16 slice. Now I think they have even a better one. We had, didn't have MRI by then, but now we have even MRI. I've seen how quick Radiology changes. At the time I was in radiology, radiography, 
it was just a elementary things, you, bones basically, mainly bones, uh, skull, uh, chest, limbs, and so on. Today, radiology has moved again very far from the, what I, I, I took on to the extent that now we have uh, CT, MRIs, and ultrasound, and so on. And many things, many things are coming still. The adoption of cutting edge technology will make radiology services more accessible and efficient, ensuring that more patients receive the care they need. I'm happy the government is now supplying most hospitals, I think at district level, they have digital imaging, which is very, very good. And the advantages of digital imaging is that you can transfer the image. Someone in Barara, someone deep in Kagadi, someone deep in Arua can send you the image here and you give him the interpretation. It has several advantages. The initial disadvantage is the initial cost, which is, uh, but eventually it is cheaper than automatic processing. Efforts to enhance education and training programs for radiographers and radiologists are crucial to meeting the increasing demand for these services and maintaining high standards of care. And as I speak now, uh, there's uh, even a special program for intervention radiology which has started at Makere. So we shall see radiologists involved not only in reading films but also in, uh, in, in, in treating patients um, interventionally using image guidance. As Uganda moves forward, radiology and radiography services will continue to be pivotal in providing accurate and timely care to its people. Walter Mwesije, NTV.